Apparently all dogs go to weird, creepy dude heaven. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 8 of Supernatural Season 6, All Dogs Go to Heaven, and this is the episode where they go after a bunch of skinwalkers. To be honest, there's a lot of parallels between this episode and then the story with... Season 14, Evil Dean, or Michael Dean. I found it so strange how a lot of people just could not draw the very obvious comparisons between Season 14 and the, almost the entire plot of Season 6, being the congregation, uh, the accumulation of all of the monsters on Earth coming together for a single purpose. Seeing the Skinwalkers kind of starting these terrorist cells is very reminiscent of that season. Admittedly, it's done a little bit better, but that's not saying much, because while this episode does have a kind of a cool idea, the idea of dogs or humans as dogs becoming sleeper cells in terms of when they are called upon that they would turn their families into other skinwalkers and help grow the packs and there are other packs in other cities like this it's how the action is choreographed how the story plays out the very repetitive argument slash dialogue between sam and dean that make this episode actually not that great and it's a very big surprise for me considering it's directed by phil segaria who i know i'm probably butchering his last name he was at the end the most competent director that this show had who actually kept up to their job sure robert singer was there but he kind of really just fell into the ease of it all by the end of it. Phil would always surprise you. Whereas in this one, it's very clear that he's not on his A game. The dialogue between Sam and Dean is quite repetitive. There are some funny bits with Sam being soulless, especially when he's just throwing out some really soulless shit, some really dark black, sometimes not exactly the most uh, incorrect of humor. And then when he's talking with a dog guy, he's like, here, fetch. He throws the ball. Well, that was hilarious. Do you like to play with your food? Roll over, Lucky. Speak. Go to hell. Already been. Didn't agree with me. But then Dean is really on this high horse. He's like, man, I don't even know who you are. Do you even hear yourself? Blah, blah, blah. Let me repeat the A track and then the B track of my mixtape and then I'll just repeat those tracks again. It is so agonizingly repetitive that you're gonna be rolling your eyes before you even realize it. The best bit, honestly, about this episode is the dog guy, the guy who is lucky. His story is the best part, the, the part that you can most relate to because he is a dog and while what he's doing is perverse and murder, but he is protecting the family that he was originally told to go and be a part of and eventually turn into himself. And then the shot at the end with the dog walking up the street by itself, that's sad, it's a sad bit. But the entire fight scene at the warehouse is so poorly put together. They follow up every attemptedly dramatic shot with a shot that completely defuncts everything that the, the previous shot established. For instance, the first one when Dean is on top of the building with a sniper rifle and it's that slow zoom into him on top with a camera rising up above you're like wow that's so cool and then they turn around and they show just how bland the whole thing is <laughs> it's like yeah you shouldn't have shown that when they're fighting inside the warehouse the camera work is very sloppy people are clearly going in circles in this set the fact that dean gets the gun stuck in the wireframe is just so laughable yeah I, I wasn't a fan of this episode not just because of the repetitive nature not just because of the very bland action sequences but also just the best part is a one-off character and it reminds me of a poor man's version of metamorphosis that episode had a really great human slash victim slash monster story that audiences could relate to but it was dean and sam that were bringing that whole episode down everything is bringing this whole episode down except for the monster slash human guy in the story then fortunately he can't really hold it up so in the end i'm gonna give this episode a three out of seven yeah, it's, it's all right. I, definitely the title is, it's an unfortunate reference to a very good Don Bluth movie. Um, I've only ever seen that film a couple of times, but it always hit me right in the gut, as do most Don Bluth movies. But those are my thoughts about this episode. Let's see what you guys have to say. Apologies for my nose. My allergies have started. All Dogs Go to Heaven is a decent episode. The shapeshifters turn into dogs and live in people's houses. It was interesting. I love that I got to see an alpha shapeshifter decent episode. 
will see when you, uh, well, uh, admittedly, you were probably the most positive person about this episode. All Dogs Go to Heaven is my least favorite episode of the season, but I have a lot of interesting concepts about it and understanding Soulless Sam's lacking of a moral compass. The biggest strength of this episode is Sam and Dean's new relationship since the one uh, we are currently accustomed to is put on a hold for us because uh, as Sam doesn't have his soul. I also love the cinematography in this episode and there's also something terrifyingly potential about uh, potential reality that Skinwalkers decide as house pets have turned a whole town into monsters. The action is fun but Lucky is a creeper dog and is, and is sympathetic in a lot of ways but it rubs me off the wrong way. Maybe that's just me. Oh no, it's, it's definitely creepy and I make a comment about how some of the cinematography is good and then it just turns into poop later on. And it is kind of a cool idea as a splinter cell sort of idea. There was a lot of uses of that kind of media back in that time with obviously stuff going on in the Middle East. So there is a reference to that. I was really surprised that the person doing the killings is a skinwalker. I really can't stand Sam in this episode because he says that he's still the same, but he's not. Dean is the voice of reason here. He realizes that the skinwalkers care about the family that has taken him in. I feel really sorry for him because they were the only people who actually cared about him and the actor who played the skinwalker. They turn into Lucky also appears in the episode Beyond the Mat, the very first episode that Dab did as a showrunner. Are you sure? Because I thought I looked up about him and he doesn't come back again. It's a super weird premise. Turns out your dog is actually some weird dude living in your house, sleeping in your bed. The most fill, mostly filler episode, but I still find it a little weird. I'm going straight from memory on this one, so forgive me if the episode is better than I'm making it out to be. But the only real thing I remember is that it was weird. It's weird. It's also not very good. All Dogs Go to Heaven is an awful episode. There was just one scene I like, and that's the one where Crowley was giving orders to the brothers. In addition, I consider this to be the second worst episode behind Mannequin 3. Ooh. We're on the same level there. There's no way this episode isn't amongst your top five worst episodes of season six. Yes, Martin, you are you are very much correct. This episode aged greatly. Do I even have to say how uncomfortable and disgusting old dogs go to heaven is? Few things in life make my screen call, but throwing in stalking and bestiality and only have is a disturbing condemnation. Well, what are we watching, people? This is hands down the worst episode of the season for lack, its lack of plot and unnecessary nature and uncomfortable... Uh, and I mean uncomfortable moments like the man dog watching the owner take a bath. Same person who made you is the showrunner of this season, you say. Mind you, you is a book. Uh, that's based off of a novel series. I actually read the novel before uh, the show came out. And I, it, it, it does have a level to it, but it actually was an enjoyable book. I only just read the one. But there is actually one episode that's worse than this one. But it is pretty up there in terms of poop. I know this isn't a fan favorite, but it's the only episode you see a skinwalker. With Lucky, was he dog turned skinwalker or human turned skinwalker? I could never figure that out. Anyhow, anyone know? This episode has a sad ending to it. Poor Lucky. I just wanted to be loved. Every time I see that ending with Lucky walking down the street, I always think the littlest hobo. Hopefully older Canadians will get it. Yeah, I get that one. But it actually, the ending is actually quite sad too. I do admit that that last shot with him going up the road is very scary. It is very sad. And if that was the intent of that shot, it worked to an extent. But yeah, the episode is still kind of poop. All right, guys, that's all from me. We are now going to step into Clap Your Hands If You Believe. I also do not remember this episode. So give me your guys' thoughts about that episode, and I will read those off in the next review. Otherwise, guys, if you like the video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Till then, I'll see you guys next week.